It's time now for the CMSC Corner. Uh, once a month, we bring in a guest from the Coordinate Metrology Society to talk about metrology, metrology training, and the like. Uh, the Coordinate Metrology Society's conference, the CMSC, is the only show of its type in North America for portable 3D measurement hardware, software, and peripherals, focused mainly on large volume 3D measurement. Each year at the conference, attendees can see presentations on a wide variety of 3D metrology topics. The papers, uh, which form the basis for the talks and also appear in the thrice yearly CMSC journal. Thrice, I always wondered work, work the word thrice into a into a sentence. Well, you you, you, you you worked it. In, it is in thrice a, yearly, right? No, it's actually twice yearly, but <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, it, it could be thrice yearly if you look at an eighteen month period as being yearly. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Sure, why not? <laughs> okay. The papers are submitted to the CMSC for review, and the man in charge of the committee for reviewing the papers is Scott Sandwith, joining us today via Skype. Hi, Scott. Hi. How are you, you doing? Guys doing? Oh, pretty we're, good. we're doing good. You know, it's interesting, Scott. There's three of us here. That's thrice people. <laughs> it is. See, I know it I could work. There's yeah. a unity and there's a there's a symmetry. Maybe not a symmetry, I guess. <laughs> it's it's asymmetrical. Asymmetrical. We can try. Hey, uh, describe for our audience the types of papers that CMSC usually gets. What do they cover? Oh, that's a great question. I'm quite proud of the variety and the range of technical papers that we're able to get to the conference each year. We get both the technical, where new sensors are do, uh, being introduced and they're done so in a technical fashion as opposed to a sales fashion. And then we also get a nice broad range of, of uh, extensive real world applications and those are some of my oh, we're, we're. favorite. Presenting on the, how photogrammetry is used to help assemble the 787. Okay, we, we, we lost you there for we lost you there for for a little bit. Um, but aside aside from I, I think you were talking about some of the case studies you mentioned the the, the Boeing uh, 747 at the mm. in, at the end there. Uh, aside from the case studies, would attendees be able to see uh, highly technical papers on maybe how a certain technology works or maybe how a particular measurement solution was was implemented? Absolutely. That's one of the core core uh, elements of these technical presentations and papers uh, is to focus on the new sensors and new software uh, concepts and some of the uh, the innovative ways that they they're being uh, used to deliver solutions. We also end up with a um, with several or uh, last year we had two workshops where we had experts from the field, for example, from uh, NIST and from NPL come in and provide a workshops. NIST did, did a presentation or did a workshop on uh, laser scanning and NPL did one on the basic physics and how laser trackers function and work in the, uh, at least uh, up until the, the uh, current um, versions of those uh, that we have in the market today. So Scott, do the papers that you receive and that, that again, as Dirk referred to, that run in the journal, the CMSC and the CMSC World E Newsletter, do those papers, do they typically talk about just basically one kind of uh, technology involved in large volume metrology or, or are there several different technologies involved? Superb question. What we get is a nice variety. We get uh, papers on laser trackers and 6D that those are now being used on today. But we also see papers on um, photogrammetry, laser scanning, and we see um, uh, not just the, the, tech, uh, the measurement um, uh, aspects of those, but we're also seeing present, uh, papers on the software and how it's being used to integrate it into production processes and done done a number of different projects. We even get some really cool papers, say, on high energy physics or in um, how laser, uh, how our metrology systems are being used to help um, build telescopes more precisely. And, and what, what kind of industries uh, typically are, 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 we, are we talking about? Is it all aerospace? Oh, um, well, there's definitely a large percentage of the papers are on the, the aerospace industry because that's where a good, a good chunk of our, our uh, user base is. But we're also seeing, um, um, we also always see, have papers that include uh, automotive, uh, shipbuilding, um, energy, uh, for example, in power plant um, operations, uh, communications, transportations. And then, for example, in the high energy physics side of things, we, we see presentations on how particle accelerators are aligned, 
um, and again, how telescope um, operations can be automated. So there's a nice variety of, uh, of, of uh, concepts and topics, and there's a lot of exchange between these different um, different uh, uh, disciplines and uh, the different ways that metrology is bringing solutions to these uh, engineering challenges. Scott, quickly, we're, we're coming to the end of the segment, but before we wrap it up here, uh, is there still time to submit papers for this year's show? I know CMSC is, is in July in Nashville this year. Is there still time to, to get some papers in if people are interested? Well, you know what? We actually are ahead of the game this year. We got our call for papers out early, and the deadline for submissions is uh, March 11th, mm -hmm. 2016. So we're looking for the abstracts to be submitted by then, and there's a nice guideline that's available up on the website and uh, for how to submit an abstract and then what our expectations for are, are for the papers and uh, and for the presentations that are delivered. And of course our conference is in July uh, 25th through the 9th and uh, we're going to have the decisions on which papers are going to be included in the, in the conference uh, by April 8th and then final submissions for the papers and presentations is July 15th. So we're, we're definitely time, and we're looking forward to seeing, um, we've already received several, but we're definitely looking forward to filling out that conference agenda for this coming conference. All right, well, uh, Scott Sand with Technical Presentation Coordinator for the CMSC. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning and, and telling us uh, a little bit about what uh, attendees can expect mm -hmm. if they go to the CMSC. Uh, some great presentations on a wide variety of topics, uh, technical case studies and so forth. I, I've been to several of these over the years. I've been to mm -hmm. dozens of them. They really are they really are fascinating. I mean, they're not just total, you know, super technical, high over your head. Some of them are, uh, but a lot of them, just if you're, just if you're uh, an, an attendee mm -hmm. and not really involved deeply in the kind of the minutia of the technical end of it, these are some fascinating case studies yeah. about what's being done out in the field with uh, large volume three D metrology. It's good stuff. Hundred percent. We get a full bouquet of both. The uh, deep technical and uh, average everyday application, uh, an application of how to take advantage of these uh, incredible technologies and, uh, and help deliver solutions. All right. Well, Scott, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the day. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, you too. Happy New Year. We'll see you. See yep. you down the line. Uh, you yeah. And again, that's, that's www.cmsc.org. Uh, for all of you out there who are interested in looking uh, online for how to submit a paper and how to register for this year's in show. In Hollywood, Florida. No, this, th this year is actually going to be in Nashville. Nashville. Okay. Nashville. Well, right outside of Nashville. So, okay. uh, so nice venue and uh, great shows, Dirk says. So make sure you check that out.